Hey everybody, Chris from American Rotary here, and I'm just hanging out in the lab uh, where we do a lot of our R&D and testing and stuff, and a customer just called me and asked me, how do you test uh, if a capacitor is good or bad? So I thought it'd be a great opportunity for me to do a quick video so I can show you guys um, how using a capacitance meter, you can uh, check uh, to see if the capacitor is good. So let's take a look. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify our capacitor and what it's rated for. So if you look at this one, it's rated for 270 to 324 microfarad. <clears throat> we're gonna take our new casein meter, and this is a capacitance meter, and we're gonna make sure that we set this, um, right now it's off, we're gonna change it to up to the 2000 setting here. Um, and that way it's over the, what the capacitance rating is on the capacitor so we can get a good reading. And we're going to go from one side to the other. And we've got a reading of 281. So that would mean that this one is good. I'm going to check this one. This one is also rated 270 to 324. One side to the other. And got a reading of 281. So this one would also be good. And then finally, we've got this one here has a rating of 50, I'm sorry, 72 to 86. And we're going to test this one. And this one reads out at 64. So that would tell us that this one is no longer any good and we would need to replace this capacitor. So I recommend that you check your capacitors in your phase converter every year. Uh, check them, inspect them for you know, seepage, swelling, as well as uh, check them uh, for capacitance. And you can get one of these new case in meters, capacitance meters on Amazon. Uh, they're like around $20. So I uh, definitely recommend them. They work pretty good. Uh, one thing that I should note um, is that it says right here, please release voltage before measurement. Uh, so make sure that there's no um, stored energy in the capacitors before you try to use this meter or you will um, blow it up. Well, thank you for tuning in, and I hope this gave you guys some useful information. Have a great day.